Okay, so this tutorial is going to be um, a dewy, kind of natural, neutral look. Um, it's not too dramatic. It almost looks like I'm barely wearing any makeup, actually. Um, but that's what we're going for. Um, it was requested by my aunt, Donna. And, um, yeah, she wanted me to do one. Um, it's kind of hard to see in the camera on this computer. But um, I did a lot of highlighting on my cheeks, on my chin, and on my brow bone, or my, whatever that is, my forehead right above here. And um, I have a lot of uh, gloss and a lot of browns. They're very soft, very, you know, natural, not too harsh at all. If you're going for something, you know, casual, wearing every day, pretty much this is what this look is for. Um, yeah. So that being said, let's go on with the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is um, take your translucent powder, which is from NYC. Um, it's called Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder, NYC, and it's translucent, um, 741A. And uh, it doesn't have any color or anything. <laughs> it's kind of messy. It's all over the keyboard. It's like two bucks at CVS. Um, and you get that, you shake up the thing, you shake it up and it goes in the lid. And then you take your powder brush. This is Essence of Beauty. Got it at CVS for like, I don't know, I got it in a package. And it's probably like six bucks just with the other one. So it's like three bucks each. It's really, they're actually really nice. And you just dip it in the lid, tap off the excess, and just apply it all over. Ugh, all my hair. Just so you can have something to get rid of the shine. I mean, I know we're going to be doing shine, but we're going to be creating a nice shine, not an oily, gross shine. So then what you do is you take your... I'm using most NYC because it's really cheap, but it's really good stuff. NYC's um, Smooth Skin Bronzer, Bronzing Face Powder, um, and it's this one's in Sunny 720A. And it's got a little sun in it. Oh, computer! And um, you take like an angled brush like this. I got this at IMATS for like two dollars. Um, take this and you contour your under your cheeks, so you get like a defined line where your cheeks are, see, right there, and then my hair back, <laughs> and then, um, okay, so it's going to be weird, but what you do is you're going to take Cafe Olay 105 from CoverGirl, and you're going to take this white color right here, this one, you'll see it. The white one right there and take a small this one it's another essence of beauty that I got in a kit of like six they come in like these small ones and they're like buy one get one half off or something like that really really cheap you take the white and you take this little brush right here and you just highlight where you want that to go right above the contour of the cheek on the dark underneath so you got that nice highlight there just blend it more in looks kind of weird on this camera highlight in here and then highlight up here now for the eyes Wani, okay this is HD Advanced Concealer. Um, it's click, cover, correct, and protect eye in the face. And, um, geez, there we go. Okay, so what you do is you click it, it's like a pen. You click it and all the stuff comes on the brush. And then you just apply it all over your lid. And maybe on into here. Two or three clicks should do it. And then you rub it all in. Okay, so then you take that same CoverGirl palette 
105. This one. And you use this middle color right here. This one right there. And just take that and rub it all in there. And this is another one of those brushes from the Essence of Beauty. <laughs> um, and just apply that all over. That'll make a base. What I did with the Milani was that was a prime, so the eyeshadow colors kind of stick to it. Um, and this is like four dollars, and the Milani is like five or six. Kind of a little tad expensive, but not as much as some primers that I see at like Sephora. Then you take a fluffy brush like this one. And you take that same palette, I'm just using this whole palette. You take the same palette right here, this color, and just blot it, and put all in your crease, starting in the outer corner, and just make circular motions. So you have that nice contouring of the eye socket not too much. Sometimes you have to add a little bit more, but it's always better to go with a little bit and add more instead of have too much and then try and remove it. Cause it's harder to remove makeup than it is to put on more. I mean, come on now. So you have that. 